Hey. Yo. What's up? Yo. How are you? Yo. Hey, man. Hey. What's up, cowboy? What's up? How you I, doing? I, I, since, I, since we're going back to America, uh huh. I thought it's only appropriate that we switch back to the Deadly Assassin's outfit. Right. You know, because America. Because, yeah. Because freedom. But we had a lot in the past few episodes. We're actually now heading, I think we're heading back to America officially. We saved the country of Mexico. Where's G? G? Looking for... Looking for We're G. We're supposed to meet G. We're meeting there. G over there. <laughs> what? Where? How could anyone do this? Where's the G? This is horrible. This G, there he is. There he is. Wow. Agent Ross. Yeah, we're actually getting close to the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, dude, we're getting there, man. Okay, so I think the way to do this, the way officially is like we're going to click this bad boy, right? That's a long... Long path. We are not going to run that path. Oh my god. We are not going to do that. What we're going to do... I mean, how weird would our conversations get by the end? I mean, look, there's probably... There's probably someone out there who edited every time we were on our way to and from a mission. And it's just us like... And it's just us, like, not making any coherent like, sense. what if your fingers were little branches? Just saying. Just saying. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Let's go. Wallace is going ham on himself right now. I don't know what's going on. What's up, bud? Cool it. He's just a dog who likes licking himself. Yeah. Where, where, where? Travel to destination. I'd feel better if he didn't, like, stop every 15 minutes and go, like, <laughs> like he's going to, like, th throw up on me. You mean, like, a, a hairball because he's an animal? Yeah. You just need to chill, bud. All right, this should theoretically take us all the way to the appropriate town. We should get all the way to the government. The government? I don't know why I said it like that. I don't know how that happened. Wait, yeah, Blackwater, yeah, here, here we are. Hell yeah. We are. That was easy. Look at that. I'm going to leave my war horse right in the center of the street. Walls, wait in the street for me. Yourself, oh my man. God, got him. You? Now you got to wait. <laughs> Do you think you can pitch camp in the town? Uh, is there a home here that I can sleep in? Is there a place it can purchase? There is no- oh god, I have no- Wait, what is that? A house. House. Here's the thing, I just bought a house, I don't have enough money. Don't we have like, a lot of fur and stuff that we can maybe sell? <clears throat> maybe, but it's also like late at night. You're right. Everything's closed. Right. Did we play Liar's Dice on here? I'm pretty sure we did, yeah? Uh, we definitely played poker. I think we played Liar's Dice. Yeah, we did, because we we did it in the saloon with that dude, remember? Yeah, can like I a not- A long time ago? Can I not go inside? Might be like a nighttime thing? No. I can't go into the home I want to buy? Wait, go try and go through that gate. On the street, from the street. I think that's the way into the building, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Cool. If they have liars dice, I'll play that to get us to make the time go. You know. How much is this room? The house is no longer for sale. Oh no, this is the room. Right? Is it what? Hello. Oh, you can just sleep here. I guess they rented this for me? Alright, G. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, G. I'll take it. Thank you, G. I'll see you in the morning. We're meeting you in the morning. We're supposed to meet G in the day. <laughs> How could anyone do this? <laughs> the house. Of the dead. Here we go. Bear, bear one another's burdens. Alright. Bear one another's burdens. Get any trivia for us, Alex? What's that? Any trivia? I'm on it. 101. 102. Oh, the penguin. 103. Oswald Cobblepot. 
106. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107. 109. Edgar Ross. It's a reference to the Bible verse, bear one another's Upstairs burdens and thus fulfill right. the law of Christ. Mm. The accountant in the beginning scene is on the ferry from the beginning. Okay. That's cool. I got some other ones, but I don't want to spoil the story. Mm. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Are you my famous director Mick G? Well looked after. Well looked after. Oh, fuck you guys. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now. I saved you want that? Mexico. Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. 100% right. I'm playing games with you, Mr. Marston. Liar. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Get out of here. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. You're a liar, but you guy. To play a different game. If we played Liar's Dice, you'd win. Down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> oh, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. I forget. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Just shoot him. Do not insult mine. Shoot him. We've done this little deal... Shoot him in the foot. Freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Oh boy. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. Why? And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squabble by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. <sighs> All right. Another group of renegades. Fuck! Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> disbanded. Anyway. I'm going to take your hat off and shoot it on the ground. We go. Oh, That's what I would do. If I was John Marston in this situation, your wife and right before I left, I would take his hat off and shoot it on the ground. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. God damn it. Don't listen. Threaten my wife and child. Never, ever threaten a man's wife and child. Like, what do you think? What are you doing? As human beings, we are designed oh, to protect each other. More, more importantly, the ones that we love and create and relate with. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. You, you threaten imagine? me, Can you get, you, you, you die. It's done. Just give me a better gun. Hand a better gun to the guy that you're trying to screw over. I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, boy. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> so, alive. that gun, oh, Dickens. Uh, in the cutscene, has like a blued finish, but in the game, it's nickel plated. So, that's one thing. Being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other And then check this out. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. <laughs> and because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral Lewis. degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Moral degeneracy waits for no man is what Wes Dickens says to Marston at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the Wizard of Oz! I'm somebody here! <laughs> I'm going to my hot air balloon. It's cool that they got the Wizard of Oz for this game. They were really trying to get the likeness going and yeah. everything. Well, that's a what of a different color! Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Ford. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this because I hate the government. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're supposed to meet G. Over where? At their graves. Oh. These guys are dicks. Nice car, losers. I just want to point out my war horse is faster than your shitty car. Nice car, losers. Pull out my gun and the driver immediately puts his head down off the wheel. 
I would like get my gun out and I'd be like, drive for three more miles in a circle, right here. They'd be like, Marston. I'd be like, Come Fuck on, then, you. Marston. You're with me. Whoa! <laughs> Did you just break their car by jumping out of it? Yeah. Yo, I can my my horse and myself run faster than you. Headed down to Disneyland. And stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderland is the priority. Where you know at Disneyland they're like moving the whole river around so that Star Wars land can fit? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Hurry your slow ass up. Aren't you like supposed to be like the pinnacle of human like the FBI? The government, the G Man. Watch it. Are you telling me to watch it? Where's my wife and kid? I will murder you. You're gonna get killed. Don't test me. Kilt? I'm going to kill you. get killed? I'm going to kill him. Me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying. If you just eyes. fall over. We're just over, like going to go kill him right now. If you just Don't fall over that. into the water, I swear to God. I'm gonna be so <laughs> mad. Pull an Irish. Be bro's homework. Pull an Irish. No. Film yourself on a dock, talking and walking. The only one that would do that is that guy that you are obsessed with on YouTube who dances with a knife. J-Link Master, do you really want to bring this out into the light? This- you've been- you've been wanting this for months. You know what? Go find him. J-Link Master on YouTube. He's the fastest dancer online. J-Link Master is a man who dances to video game music with a knife in his hand. Sometimes. Most of the time, no. Sometimes it's stuffed animal. Alex and loves this I guy. I can't stop watching his fucking channel. He's not popular at all. <laughs> he loves his stuff though. I love it. I just can't stop watching it. Go check it out. J Link Space Master. I think he's had a bunch of channels, but there's only one he has right now. Or two. One of them is his comedy channel. Both are nonsensical crazy. Chris is literally looking him up on his phone right now. It's, it's insane. It's insane. Put a little clip of him real quick, just for mm. like one second. That's just a taste. Any we that's just a taste. Hold on. Can I just share this? Yeah. We are friends and have met some of the most brilliant minds in gaming. Sure. We are friends with David Wise. Sure. Who did the music for Donkey Kong Country and sure. more. We we're friends with David Doak, who's yeah. a legend. Sure. One of the legendary designers behind Goldeneye. Yeah. True. And what were we doing? Showing them J Link the Master videos. But what uh, were they doing? Laughing, laughing and having a great time because even they aren't aren't immune to the fastest dancer on the internet <laughs> Jalen McMaster and that's the best I can say about it. I'm fascinated with it. I want to like make a documentary about him He has a video where he's like yo, I'm not going to jail I'm like why were you on your way to jail? I have so many questions. That's all It's pure curiosity call me curious George you can be my man in the yellow hat I don't know where I'm going. Oh, here Why we doesn't go. Curious George have a tail? Over here! I found him! Does he? Good God, that's her informant. Nasus, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! <laughs> Shit, Marston! You'll have to- It's a trap, here we go. I don't think you can walk. Oh my good god! Yeah, no! Come on, we oh, need boy. to get safety! Oh boy! Yeah, Curious George doesn't have a fucking tail. What's that about? Uh oh. Alright, you're pretty safe up here. This guy's just coming up the stairs right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. There he is, right behind that crate. Just pop him. Nice. Is this the high power pistol you're using? I have no idea. All right, that ass. How could there be one above you already? It means it's below me. That means above. Not always. Oh, maybe because he's. I know why. It's because the boat is like Come on, let's tilted. Push forward, you fool! You fool! I'm no fool. You the fool. You, the, you the punk ass chump. Got him. I know punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch. This camel's hump. 
All right, on the right. Yo, that on the right. Whoa, yeah. that dude was spinning. That dude sucks. Don't worry about him. Done. Oh boy. Two. <laughs> All right. Pop up. Get bodied. Did he die? Did you like hit him with a needler? Did you see that? Dude, shout outs to Fallout 3 right now. Shoot that red thing. Bonus. Dude, this guy got rocked. Not according to his health bar. That's true, he's like barely scratched, but he looks like he got shot in the back, doesn't it? Whoa! You shot his gun off. Is that guy still alive? No, okay. Up there on the ridge? We're done. Oh, that's your boy. His life bar ended. Quick! To the car! <laughs> Instead of the war horse? Now you're fucking running? Look at him run. He ran faster up the hill than he did down He's the running hill. like fucking James Bond. <laughs> Except with a bowler on. So he's odd job. <laughs> so he's odd job. Ah. So he's odd job. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Don't you have access to, like, the army? Yeah. Like, why is it John Marston's job to do this shit? Less resources, I guess? Ride to Blackwater. Alright. I think you mean what camp. What the hell happened down there? It was a trap, they were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? Are you kidding me? This is the informant, sir. Savage? Do you speak English? Uh... Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostos. Don't get snarky with me, Ford. <laughs> we found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. You won, didn't you? Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! <laughs> don't we you have realize? to watch this. I can't skip this. Don't you guys realize that we could just kill you at any time? You fucking government dummies. Look at this! We have to wait! Sick camera angle. Meanwhile, a duck flies overhead. Can't shoot him. Meanwhile, All my dreams the duck gone. can't pull the gun for once. Meanwhile, the duck... <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, in Ducksville... <laughs> Can I just call out Chris Luca one more time for just like continuing to like and favorite tweets and interact on Twitter? Is that not the Chris coolest? Chris Luca's great. Is that not the coolest? Suburban Legends was a great band. Is. <laughs> they are. Here they come. Here they come. God damn it. Oh. All right, fine. It's a one. gun? Is that a minigun on that thing? No. You got me too excited. Yo, who gave the guns to the Indians? We did. Yipes. <laughs> You're like, can't hit him. <laughs> that guy's still alive. I know. That well, was the Wilhelm. Here that comes this dude on the right, yep. Where are you going? Come on, Morgan Freeman from fucking Unforgiven. You're, Nowhere. you're done. By the way, have you fucking seen that movie? No. Holy shit, Beard Bros homework? Much in the same vein as watching LA Confidential, do yourself a fucking favor and go watch the movie Unforgiven. That's a fucking rough movie. Badass movie. Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman. Clint Eastwood like going back in the 90s and doing his cowboy thing one more time. So fucking tight.
What are you Come doing? On. Let's get back to Blackwater. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Now we can skip this. Walsh was licking his fur because he has a little thing in his fur. That's why. Oh, bud. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good He's idea, got it in sir. both paws. I just really? Can't communicate yeah. With Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the this office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. <laughs> we should tell you something. He was thrown out of Yale. He's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. Because he was See, helping he us so with the natives. Wait, what did you say? Huh? huh? You said he was thrown out of ah, Yale because he was gay? Yeah. Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Ah, uh, great. This is our new quest giver dude, probably. Yeah, he probably has some sort of substance abuse problem. Just like every Related to Irish. Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure it actually seems like he's just a drug addict. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, racist. See what I'm saying? So now we're responsible for, for liberating Mexico and wiping out the Indians. Very cool. Hopefully this guy loves Indians, well, just like I do. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> I thought that we were going to be done with this game. Yep. Native Americans, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say it. Native Americans. Let's get it out there. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Cover all our bases. Let everyone know we're not crazy. The amount of things that I, the, the amount of like interaction that I get from people that's like, you're racist. I'm like, do you really think that I'm fucking racist? Are you crazy? Hey man, verbs and words are strong. Words are strong, but like context is more. Not in today's day and age. Yeah, that's not fair. Trump's our president. That's not fair or right. No, you know what that means? School's out for summer. You'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population. You okay there, Alex? Oh! Really? Oh, yes. Oh. White man, Ever! But, 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 just wanna play video games every day. Just wanna play look at, look at, video look at the blood games. games of natives and white men of same height, weight, and age. And you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's <laughs> remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. He's like, what? It's almost like racism isn't scientific. Forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? Ah, so he just does drugs. Not right this minute, no. Is it a remarkable drug? It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. Don't do cocaine, kids. Come on. Come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars, but still <laughs> my heart is pure. And we That's like, shut up, man. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning Yay! Things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. All right. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Here we go. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. I can't tell if this guy is like. Follow me. I can't tell what his deal is. So I understand we 
have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, <laughs> Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse Impressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I what just happened? Head. I think you just Never ghost rode. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit, surfing great waves of euphoria. What <sighs> is going on? Anyway, yes, uh, I can't tell if this guy's like racist or he's just like, he's like a lovable, like you're supposed to look him and be like, oh, look at this dumb guy who's still racist, which I think is pretty cool, actually. Oh, are you from the YouTube comments section? <laughs> Are you saying the YouTube comment section is just Red Dead Redemption the game? Basically. I feel like I'm John Marston. I gotta kill my old friends. Or something. Great. I'm coming for you. Look out. You done wrong. They're trees. Yes, shut up, dumbass. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Isn't there a uh, Bigfoot in this? In the uh, Undead Nightmare. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are we going to play that? I've never played it before. I think we should. It's fucking hilarious. We should just bust through it, too, though. How long is it? Um, not that long. There is no respect for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees, Mr. Marston. I've got bills to pay, mouths to feed. It says it's like seven hours, eight hours, something like that. You're gonna be really into it. Me? Yeah, you're gonna like- I love zombie games. I know you like it when people are like, fuck it, let's just get weird. And that's what this is. What's his name comes back? That like dirty little grave boy. Gross. You, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. He's back in there. It's like a little side story that doesn't matter to the main story. There's it's tight. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Cause it's not really like a standard zombie situation. Mm. I'm just sad that more games don't do stuff like this. Like I love like Blood Dragon. And, and Undead Nightmare, where they're just like, yo, it's real fucked up now. More of a head for highs. Well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. This is way too scary. Goodbye. Goodbye, gentlemen. Bye. I'm scared. Goodbye. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. Okay. This guy's voice is a little bit too much. It's like Spock falling. How did it get so snowy? Yo, real talk. Something's been I've been some this ugh. something that's been on my mind lately is when people reach down and grab people by their arms and yank them up. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of body strength that's like, that I do not have. That's just a lot. I mean, people can do it. Alex, it's, if you were falling off a cliff right now, I'd be fucked. I would apologize a thousand times as I'd let go of you. Yeah. Not because I'm let like- Let go? Not like let go, but like eventually, I literally- Eventually. I, eventually I have yeah. to let go because I can't You wouldn't be you. like, you wouldn't be like, this isn't going to happen. Sorry, right. dude. I would try. I absolutely <laughs> would try my hardest. Hey, you, we both know this ain't happening. See ya. <laughs> I'd be like, it's chill, dude. Peace. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Chris just whispered, long live the king from the Lion King to himself. <laughs> far, too, far too quiet to ever be on a microphone. <laughs> I thought you said long live the gay man. And I was like, well, that 
<laughs> Makes sense for you because like, you are he gay. Didn't, he didn't like you're not falling off the cliff because so you're like, not part of the hypothetical. <laughs> You're like, sick, I made it. <laughs> long, long live the gays. <laughs> yeah, right, I sabotaged that. I'll just take you guys out. <laughs> dude, I'll take it, dude. To the victor goes the spoils in this game of thrones. Yo, yeah, where the fuck are we going? The cave? All right, let's go. Are there any bears in here? I'm going to fucking shoot everyone. Let's go. Dude. They're probably just trying to... Excuse me. Smash. No. <laughs> Excuse me! He's like Sam Eagle. This way. Sam Eagle... The Indian. Yeah. Native American. Wah, wah, Let's get wah, it out there. Wah. Oh, I'm sorry, Native American. Sam Eagle. Oh my god! Whoa! What? He got him. Wait. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Next time on Beer Bros. <laughs> We're gonna recheck from this what checkpoint. What the fuck? All right, see ya. Was that a zombie? No. Are you sure? That I ran into just now? The dude, no, the dude that you shot, he was like, Rah! He's a savage, the a, dude savage like, a savage Native American. A savage Native American? Yeah. Whew. I'll see you guys next time. Wait, on wait, why is that weird? It's just like, I wasn't describing the race. I was saying, what's the name of that dude who like looks like a like purple pimp in Pocahontas? What? The main yeah, he's like. <laughs> he's got the buzz for a dog. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are in your own world. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, we'll see you guys next time on Beard Bros. Gerard and I are not racist. High five on that. High five. What's up? Look, no, we gotta. You gotta. We really high five. We we're not racist. We're not racist. Good, we love a, everyone and everything. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Bye.